If you want to know what other Astroneer players think about you, there is a scientific way to establish it. You can deny it. Your Astroneer skin shouts what kind of player you are, whether you like it or not. So let's see what the most common suits and palettes say about you. Write in the comments if you agree or disagree about your own skin. This video contains stereotypes that I may or may not agree with. No player was harmed in the making of the video. Well, not physically at least, maybe in their feelings. Exosuit, the standard suit. It is usually worn by new players because that's what you get when you have just started out. Or it's worn by lazy players who don't even bother changing their skin. And the palette is usually the standard exo blue. But it's a pretty good looking skin, no cap. Bubble suit. This is one of the funniest suits. The animations are just another level. Just look at the way it makes you walk. This is definitely the suit to go for if you don't care about fashion and you just want to have fun with your friends in Astroneer. This is certainly a favorite by teenagers as well. In fact, according to Astroneer's official database, the suit is suitable for youngsters. Unfortunately, wearing it won't make you look particularly smart, but on the other hand, it maxes out in cuteness. Flight suit, looking snatched in this flight suit. This is a Giga Chad suit, of course affected by the charm of the uniform. And the name flight suit, which implies that you take your risk daily flying your VTOL, makes it just even better. It looks good with the VR vision mask as well. Most players who wear this love danger. Viewers keep on subscribing thanks to the over 25,000 who have already done so. Keep it up, cool immunity. The bio suit, also known as the organic suit. This is just the exosuit revisited. They look very similar with those light at the side of the helmet. The biosuit is also the favorite by vegetarians because of its healthy properties. At least this is what the name implies, right? Most players who wear this suit are art or music oriented people. The exotic suit, you understood the assignment. This is the most extravagant suit. If you want to look like an alien, go for it. It features a very cool multi window with helmet that will allow your four eyes to look in all directions. This is also a favorite of funny player. The Galactic Suit. I don't know many guys with this suit. It is the one that you unlock when you pass through the gate with portals, where you get stretched and teleported to another location. That must be the reason why there is no room for your neck. Players who wear these are a little sus, so careful about possible pranks. But many technical players love this suit as well, as it shows their accomplishment. Terrain Suit. Definitely a gentleman, a retro guy, the perfect mask would be the cockpit. Or you may be a baby boomer, in that case, wear your padding warmer, we don't want you to get cold. The tundra suit, perfect for cold weather, the suit is a must for players who have their base on Glacier. It also features a handy LED ring light for your TikToks, so it is the best for dancing on social. Oh, this guy's just vibing. Arid suit. It features one of the best light placements, in my opinion, right at the bottom of the helmet, which makes it unique. This is the favorite suit of miners, players who enjoy digging holes and make their bases underground. And now the radiated suit, the goat of all suits, the very best piece of cloth, only for very cool guys. As you know, I'm wearing it, but I promise I have totally been unbiased in my judgment. Jokes aside, not many people like this suit because it's associated with Aatrox, the most hated planet. So you either wear it because you want to live alone and hope your neighbors will move away disgusted by your suit, or you like the idea of wearing a radiated suit because in your mind you are so cool, you are not afraid of radiation. This and the galactic suit resemble the ones featured in Monsters Inc so its fans may be using these as well. Also, it's good for mild flexing, since if you own this suit, it means that you have activated the gateway engine on Aadrox, the hardest to beat. The Wanderer suit. You've got the drip. Definitely one of the coolest suits. Highly recommended for players who are concerned about being fashionable. The helmet is a unique piece, inspired by the movie 2001 A Space Odyssey, and looks great from any angle absolutely bussing. Most of the suits that are unlocked through missions have a common meaning. These suits include the lab suit, the conductor suit and chrono suit. If you always wear the latest ones, you are just flexing that you have already completed the missions. But if you wear one and stick to it, then it could be that you really like it. For example, if you are wearing all the times the conductor suit, you may really be into trains. Okay, let's go. 
Also, the members of the channel are multiplying. Thanks, guys, for your support. The lab suit is for players who are more on the scientific side of the game, like building huge contraptions. Chrono suit, on the other hand, is more for time travelers and pirates, so these players maybe try to troll you and make pranks. Chrono suit looks good with some flashy colors, like bright red, but its crown goes well with gold color, so the perfect palette to match this suit is the overachiever palette. Well, the name says it all, the perfect palette for flexing. The color is really awful, but it does make you feel like a giga chat. This is because it's questionably the hardest color to unlock. You get it when you complete all game achievements, including the secret one. Congrats to you, but just to let you know that your palette makes all of us common mortals salty. And if the little crown is not enough, go for the little prince hat to establish supremacy. Well, anyone wearing this is definitely trying to rule the server, so be careful. Go for the hard suit if you can decide whether you are a human or a robot. The hard suit is what you need. You get a human body with robot arms and a handy antenna to watch Netflix out in space. You've also got heavy duty boots and your helmet kind of resembles Boba Fett, so this is a must go for Star Wars fans too. One of the most used palette is the galactic one. It's the color that you get to flex because it's the closest to the golden one, achievements wise, but you're not good enough to complete them all. Um, well, I wear it for a different reason, of course, I just like the color. And did you know that the aerial assistant camera drone will also get the color of your palette? I have never noticed it before, but it makes sense since it's attached to your backpack. And the retro suit is an easy guess, as we know something for a fact. The suit was actually made available to players who purchased Astroner during early access. So that's something we know for certain about them. And if you want to explore even more suits, just access Astroner's store, where you can find more suits, palettes and stuff. Definitely those who buy here are very much into the game. Some of the suits here are very good, like the Scout, Commander and Swift suit. And there are also robot-like suits like the Frame and Old School suits. If you don't want to draw too much attention to yourself, you can get some sober palettes like the Galactic Gem, Pearlescent and Glitterati. Have a look at the hats that can completely change your helmet and the masks like a nice FaceTime or something fancier to induce some huge headache in your friends. And we know for sure that players wearing this suit own a Nintendo Switch. Okay, I'm so jealous right now. What is your to-go suit? Let me know in the comments. Watch this video next to know what kind of astronaut player you are and stay safe.